What's up friends of the good mood? This is Bunny and welcome to an unboxing video here for War Robots on the recent black market with the dash bots and the scorch weapon and everything right here. And I'm about to show you my reward lock and hopefully you're not going to unsubscribe and hate me for the rest of your life because I'm actually the most luckiest son of a gun ever with my so far open boxes. Look at this. You remember that when you when the black black market came you got 100 basic starting keys, right? Look at this. I've actually my first roll was 110 my second roll was the Hayashi. I'm not sure how that happened, but I think this has consumed the luck for the rest of my life now. And you're gonna see that now as a proof in the next rolls of the unboxing process. Because you can see here I've gotten myself 7,000 keys up there in the upper left corner of the screen. So we will be using them now to open boxes, okay? And I'm only going to be opening the 1,000 uh, boxes right here. Okay, so 200 keys lost for no reason whatsoever. Let's roll another one. All right, here we go, next one. And uh, the last drop wasn't particularly good, so let's do it again. <laughs> the, uh, let's do it again time. We have another 200 keys just lost for no reason. And those are really the most frustrating drops ever. 500 keys just lost, nothing gotten from it. And I know that's the punishment for me being so lucky with that first Hayashi, isn't it? Okay, now we've gotten a thousand gold, that's actually pretty good. Uh, I'm not gonna complain about a thousand gold, I would never do that. And we, we have another 500 things lost here for this box. And I really, oh, this is the most frustrating drop that exists in this entire game. Uh, because basically what you do, you trade a $5 bill uh, or a $10 bill for a $5 bill. And yet, then you, you, you call it a trade. That's what's happening here. And uh, we're, we're, this was a good one though. This was 2,000 gold. I'm really happy with this drop, man. That's so much. And then I was like, oh cool, another Hayashi and oh, okay, 750 gold. Oh well. Um, super box, okay, this is the big super box right now, it's even bigger than that 1000 a box, and we're getting 3000 keys out of the deal. I guess it's not the worst drop, uh, it's, it's quite good actually, I think a, a Zeus for example would have been a really low drop out of this one, so I'm happy with this, and woo! Here we get this Scorch weapon, yoink! That's mine now, and uh, I actually have it level 7 or level 8 right now. I've started upgrading it and I really like this weapon, I wish I had a second one because it would be good to have two firing, right? Then we have another 500 keys and 650 gold after this. Um, the 500 keys, of course, are the uh, the really loser around here. Getting it once again, oh man, it hurts so much because it's just such a waste. It could have been something so good, right? Um, and a thousand gold after that. I wish they would just make it so that, you know, you can't get lower amounts of keys out of rolling. You will always get something out of it, even, even if it's just... Let's say, uh, I don't know, maybe a gecko, for example, okay? But mainly, at least you get something out of it. That would be really, really good. Because um, uh, what are you going to do with 15 geckos? You still don't really have much out of it. We're now opening 100 boxes and getting 200 uh, keys out of it. That's actually really good. So we can roll, uh, keep on rolling here. That allows me to get another super chest open. And they only contain really good stuff. So uh, let's see what this is going to be. We've got 2,750 gold. This is really good for a free super box. It's like it's free almost because you haven't you don't have to invest keys for this one. You're getting it from using an opening boxes, right? 110 keys out of a 100 box. I guess this is okay. I mean, this can happen as lot, as often as he wants. This here is the thing that's the problem for me. <laughs> when that happens, like okay, I give you seven dollars. No, I give you ten dollars and you give me three back. And we get another Tempest weapon, that's really good, I like it because I didn't have a Tempest so far and I think it actually has a value of 1,500 coins, right? Uh, a gold, I mean. So it's 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 a really good value, valuable drop out of a 100 uh, key box, uh, like one of the best uh, drops almost, except for of course the higher dash bot um, that you can get or some Fury or Lancelot or something like this. 50 gold, I think I even appreciate the 50 gold at this point because 50 gold is, it's more than I had before. It's like, it's its a plus, right? It's not just taking keys and losing keys for uh, for not, for nothing. At least you get something. So um, here, 30 keys, yeah, that hurts. 70 keys, bye-bye. Have a good one, it was nice having you. Then we have a th 100,000 silver credits, I guess it's not the worst. And now we can open a bunch of 10, uh, 10 key boxes, but we're getting a 40 key box out of the tenner, so we can open another 100. -er. Okay, let's keep that up and 150,000 silver credits. I'm not gonna say no to that. The Tyrant would have been a little bit cooler, but hey, why not, right? 
the last drop here using 10 to get three i was almost getting the stalker there i was like woo almost uh but then it was not the case now you can see in the upper left corner of the screen we've gotten 10,000 gold out of the 7,000 keys plus the scourge plus the tempest so i really think it was actually a quite good um good run there that we had i can't upgrade the tempest right now because i'm already upgrading something else so i'm not going to do that let's start having a little bit of a battle because i think at the end of an unboxing video there has to be some action right so uh here we go firing and this guy is just activating his shield way too late see he's already gotten like uh i don't know thirty thousand damage maybe even more before he activated his shield now this guy comes running through with a garret i suppose uh, it's so much explosion happening they can barely see the guy but hey uh we've already depleted him by halfway and i think he actually doesn't have a level 10 bot that's something really nice uh because in the, in the league where I'm playing right now, it's a uh, Diamond League, the, the first one. So basically, the next step is going to be a higher league then. Uh, is it then already ma uh, um, Master League? Is it the next one? I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, so that's where we are around. And usually my enemies, they have so strong bugs. You're going to see this later in this video. I'm going to be firing at a uh, Lancelot and at a, a Raijin. And I'm going to put all my damage output in there. And it looks like they're not taking any damage whatsoever. Because I'm just not... They, the weapons of mine are so low leveled. We have level... We have level 8 pins and level 6 Tulumbas on this gri level 6 Griffin right here. And... Uh, <laughs> This is just not gonna do much, right? And then the enemy bots, I think most of them or many of them are level 10 or something. So, or sometimes even higher. I really have a bit of a problem. They're dealing damage to those guys. Uh, but then it's nice to encounter some of the Garrets, like this guy right there, who really took some damage from my hits. Um, yeah, I did a really big mistake there. I was uh, not seeing the guy come up from behind. Or actually, I saw him, but I didn't think he was going to be that fast. And he already had me hit with all his uh, pinata damage there before I was even allowed, uh, before I uh, managed to get away. Now, here I'm doing, going to uh, do a good thing. I'm choosing the Lancelot to hold them off and not, um, you know, uh, let them through. But then I'm doing a mistake, unfortunately, which I'm just going to show you and explain to you guys here. So hopefully you're going to not make the same mistake as, uh, as I do. I'm walking away from my beacon. And I'm probably letting my team down here. They saw, oh cool, we have a Lancelot spawning in, so this beacon is secured. And then I'm just walking away from the beacon and basically handing over that beacon to those guys. And now they can spawn there. Uh, keep in mind, I've been playing Facebook Game Room a little bit more. Uh, uh, also, and I, I, I'm still not so fully into the Beacon Rush game mode. Uh, I'm, I'm just starting to really, really fully get into this. And I wasn't aware of the fact that if I walk away from it, they're going to be able to spawn there, right? That was a big mistake. I shouldn't have done that. And I'm probably not going to make that one again. <laughs> so now let's try to fix it and get back that beacon that we've just given away to the enemy. And uh, yeah, for this, I'm using these columns there to protect myself because they're focusing me because I'm really low on health. Thankfully, I'm not alone. We've got this uh, this aphid orcan... Uh, um, Griffin right there. Hopefully he's also going to help me a little bit with this guy here. I'm, I'm almost destroyed, but I'm capable of getting that beacon. And we have gotten it. There's another uh, Rogatka spawning in. Uh, but with, thankfully, we've secured the beacon before we were killed. So I can spawn there with the Hashi. Now, let's go. Let's do something here. I'm trying to walk, but somehow my button didn't work really well. Uh, did you know that bug when you when you start pressing okay i'm pressing the keyboard button w to walk but if you like you move it forward and it's not yet responding uh and that happened there also this this uh this um, um rogat got there it didn't take damage for the first two seconds i think that was stockpiling damage and uh, and it was a little bit of a lag situation and what happened here is so god dang it i hate it when that happens look at this I'm aiming at the guy down there and like, okay, you're gonna get it now, son. I'm just gonna dash out and really put a punch in you and here we go. And the targeting system totally trolls me and my full alpha damage just goes completely into the wall because uh, the targeting system says, oh, you wanna fire at this guy, don't you? And uh, the, you wanna fire at the guy you can't even see, right? So let's here, have it. Um, I'm back here firing a little bit of damage there and the problem is that my organs just are way too low level seven orcans it's just not get, not gonna help much <laughs> it's three uh, three orcans still so it's still some damage output but i need to bring them to level 10 or 11 to really allow them to do much uh, to to perform well before i got them on a higher level they're just not going to carry uh as much as i would like to <laughs> Um, but yeah, so let's dash right through there. Thankfully, this guy just fired before we went in there. And uh, uh, Raijin spawns in and probably already takes a bunch of damage from before I even do anything, right? He basically just spawned in there and collected a little bit of extra splash damage there for no reason. It was cool. And we're having a pretty decent rush going on. Look, we've got two full 
pumped, uh, pumped up Leos. Uh, pumped up Leos, that's what I mean to, meant to say, I'm sorry. Uh, pumped up Leos coming up with me here, and back there, there is a, a Fujin who looks a little bit <laughs> confused. Uh, 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 what's going on? Um, but yeah, so we're, we're in a good spot here. We're do uh, dominating the enemy team, ca capturing the point. Uh, the beacon, yes, it's called Beacon Momo, I know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going through, his, through, through these enemies here. Uh, it's a good, it's a good point uh, and a good spot right now. I'm dashing into these, into this guy, hoping I will be able to do some damage. But nope, nope, he's already taken out by the next Leo coming around the corner. Dude, we have Leos everywhere right now, don't we? And I guess the rest of the round is just me capturing this uh, this beacon, trying to walk up and deal some damage, which is not going to happen because the round is over. We scored 723,000 damage. We've gotten a good amount of credits for out of the deal, and we were second in damage, as you can see here. Hold on. Uh, what I want to show you next is probably something that becomes a in funny intro sequence. You know that those funny little intro sequences I've tried to do for every video. Um, but uh, yeah, you you know there's two stalkers walking the same way. And the problem with two stalkers walking the same way is when they don't activate their stealth ability, both of them at the same time. Because now I can still fire at the guy and splash both of them, even though one of those guys has the stealth ability active. And he's like, probably, come on, man, why are you following me? At least activate your stealth ability. Like, basically, I was allowed to deal damage to both of them, even though they are both using their stealth ability. And he's probably first wondered why the heck I'm still able to actually precisely fire at him, right? Because I just le leap the target and pre-aim well enough and fire and he's like, what? What's going on here? I have my stealth active. But it was the second guy's fault uh, who does didn't have the stealth ability active that allowed me to put on the full alpha damage there. In the meantime, the first guy lost his stealth ability and can now be taken out and his, <laughs> his round is just so over now. And um, he's also going to come in here again just to take me out. I think I, I probably, uh, you know, uh, screwed him over there quite some uh, some way, uh, and I, he didn't like that so much. Um, let's do some damage here. This is the round what I wanted to show you, where I'm not dealing any damage. Uh, the first targets were okay. Those were Starkers. They don't have that much health. But there's gonna be on the platform beacon. I think it's the beacon B over there, or is it C? I'm not sure. Uh, the one we're firing at, the beacon up there. Um, there is uh, going to be a Lancelot and a uh, Raijin going to be there. And those will just, just not take any damage. Keep in mind level 7, level 8, 8 and 8 Tulumbas on this dock bot. And uh, here it is. That's the first Lancelot. Look at the amount of damage. I've just put my full alpha damage in there and he's maybe lost 10% health. I'm like, what? How? Come on, man. I'm like 30,000 damage can't be 10%. What's going on here? And uh, and then we have this Raijin and he's doing the same thing to me. Look, I'm firing at him and he's losing like 1% health per hit. Like 1%. What the heck? Now I'm being attacked by somebody and I think, ah, okay. Here's there. And look who it was. It's the same guy with the stalker from the beginning. He got taken out by somebody else. He was so mad that he actually kept walking up this ledge and got taken out by my team. And once again, I'm not dealing any damage to this Raijin. What's going on? And now I'm confused as heck as to what is going on because I'm being attacked now and I'm in the middle of this position. Like, who can even attack me here with Tarans? And I'm like, okay, I see the, the Lancelot wreckage from before, but who's firing at me? And what happened is there was another Lancelot standing exactly in the wreckage of the Lancelot. And that's why I didn't see him. I was like, what is happening here? Where are they firing from? Uh, I thought they were firing through the wall because I couldn't. And then I saw him there and I was like, huh? How was he there? I saw the Lancelot wreckage there, but I didn't see a Lancelot. Anyways, let's go further here and spawn in the hash heap. Going further a little bit here into the enemy team. I, you see I fired my things and depleted his shield entirely there, which helps me now in dealing damage to him. Uh, it wasn't all too much damage, but at least it was something. And since my buddies are firing with me, it was actually useful, because now he is in fact tanking damage, which he didn't or well, wouldn't have if it wasn't for the shots we've done, been doing in the beginning. Thing is, his Ansel Sheet, I think it's quite well leveled. It keeps regenerating in such a high rate, I uh, can barely do anything to him. I need, I need to wait for the right moment to attack him there. And I think the right moment comes in in a second here. Uh, yeah, he's now being attacked from the side. The shield has dropped, freshly dropped, which means I can come up from the side and just <laughs> win his day. <laughs> then we have the next, uh, he, him, him again, the guy who came up from before, uh, before with his stalker, right? And he's standing there with a plasma griffin. I checked what it was that he's using and I was like, okay, I don't want to mess with the plasma griffin because he bypasses my shield. But then I realized he's just standing there, not realizing that I can just easily um, 
you know, easily just uh, splash around the corner there. And uh, and then he's up, oh, he's doing this little move, and I'm like, no, sir, you are not. And I'm just dashing right after him and uh, fish him out of the air. <laughs> oh, man, so cool. All right, so let's keep wor working them down. This guy destroyed himself. I'm not sure why. Maybe he was, uh, I don't know, didn't think that his butt, maybe he, he mispicked. Maybe he accidentally picked the wrong butt. Because he, he, you see he picked now, he picked a Leo with plasma which can bypass my shields. So I think he, he decided to, that his butt wouldn't have done him any good and he decided to get with a Leo. But even then I must say it's really not a smart maneuver because if he had walked further towards me, I would have had to sacrifice my, uh, empty my drums and empty my magazine on him. And here's the, 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 uh, the stealth guy from before. <laughs> oh man, uh, I don't think he likes me very much in this round. Uh, but yeah, so if he had used his butt first, then I would have killed that butt, of course, and he wouldn't have done damage to me. But I would have had my, my guns used for that. All my rockets, I would have used them, right? And if he then spawns in the Leo, I can't deal damage to him. And uh, <laughs> he goes again. Here he goes again on his own. Alright, so there's a little ca uh, carnage sitting around the corner, I think. Is it a carnage? I think I remember this being a carnage. And what my plan was to dash around the corner and just completely ruin his day here. Just BAM! Splash right in there. But I got some help from the Taran uh, Lancelot right there. Otherwise, I would have done the same thing myself. And now this action, unfortunately, killed me. Oh, it was such a nice moment. I've already been... Ma I already made a video called, uh, you know, Hayashi vs. Tharnage or, or Thunder Carnage. Where basically I, uh, I show you exactly this encounter and even letting you guys vote in the beginning as to who do you think is going to make it. Uh, uh, the, the Hayashi bot jump dashing into the shield or the, the Thunder Carnage. And it's an interesting result there at the end guys. If you haven't seen the video yet, I'm linking it to the description for you guys so you can check it out. Um, but yeah, so we're here. We managed to spawn on this, uh, on this beacon there because uh, thankfully my team captured it. And uh, yeah, so... Oh my god, look how slow this thing is. Like, you... Oh, uh, yeah, still not there, no. Wait, this is what's happening when I'm using the, the Lancelot. It just takes so long to get into the action with this thing. And even when you're boosting, you're thinking, okay, now I'm back at normal speed, right? And it's like the, this thing punishes you for, for not using the rush ability the whole time. But then again, it's such a powerful machine, the Lancelot, that it cannot actually have the ability of, um, of you know, being always that fast. I think it would be too powerful then, because uh, it would be so, like, it's such a massive wall, such an obstacle for your enemy to overcome. And if this would, oh, oh no, hold on. Let's stop the talking here for a second. We've got a Thunder Carnage, a Tharnage spawning in right in front of me, which thankfully I can just completely bypass the shields. But then again, he also has my shields basically down and he caught me with the trousers down almost there. And, uh... <laughs> Yeah, he's coming around the corner. He, th he thought I was busy and uh, I was actually not. I was just waiting for him to come around and I thankfully made it. I didn't even lose a Tauron yet, which is quite surprising. Normally by this point with that much health lost, I already lost a Tauron or even worse, a Nansel Shield. I'm seeing that the guys are fighting over there. So what I'm doing here, I'm ditching the rest of my bot trying to get some damage in. Uh, but somehow I think everyone thought the same thing because suddenly the whole team is here. And I was like, huh? Come on, man. I just even ditched my bot for this one. And of course, right after I ditched the bot, another guy spawned at the normal spawn and went to the beacon there. I was like, oh my god. I'm following him I'm all the way here and skipped uh, to the juicy part where thankfully I managed to fire uh, across this little gap right there and get him killed. We are at the end of this video right here, guys. Uh, uh, guys, uh, it was a longer one. It was a longer video, uh, but we have also made almost a million damage in it. We've unboxed quite a lot of things, and I've been meaning I wanted to show you an unboxing video. I couldn't make this happen without uh, let let this event pass w uh, or this black market without having you shown you an unboxing video. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below, and if you haven't already, hit subscribe. It's brutal as a man can it for more. Thanks for bearing with me, you guys. Are awesome as always. Mining Gaming signing off. Bye bye.